tell me that you love me even if it's fake cause i don't fucking care Hey what is up you guys, this is Nacho here and welcome back to another Call of Duty Infinite Warfare video. In today's video I want to give you guys my ultimate class setup for the K-Bar 32. Now I promised you guys this video around 2-3 to three weeks ago and I've just been slacking because of all the days of summer stuff that's been coming out with all the Call of Duty, there's just so much new content. Uh, but I figured I'd give you guys this class setup. Now this class is the class where I have the most de-atomizers with in Infinite Warfare. Uh, this is my most successful class, like if I were to pick any of my classes that you know I would want to go into a game and try to you know just fuck shit up and have a super awesome game you know try to drop a deatomizer this is the class setup I would use so getting right into it obviously it's the KBAR 32 now the variant that I'm using is the bunker buster the bunker buster is my favorite KBAR 32 variant but you can use whatever variant you like I'm just gonna recommend if you have the bunker buster you pretty much just copy and paste my class setup so for the attachments I'm running hella attachments I'm using elo quick draw foregrip rifled barrel and and extended mags now the reason I'm using all these attachments is because they work hand in hand together now the k-bar kind of has a lot of recoil at long range and the foregrip is gonna help you win those long-range engagements even some mid-range games running an elo sight over the regular uh, red dot sight or the regular you know crosshair you get on the k-bar 32 actually makes it so your censoring pattern is a little bit different there's a lot of pro players in the call of duty scene that think putting an elo sight on the k-bar 32 makes it more accurate and after you know me playing with it I don't know if that's true if it's a placebo but I definitely recommend man you put elo on your k-bars it seems to me that i'm able to you know just consistently melt people more often when i put the elo on the other attachments are quick draw you know quick draw is just nice because you can snap onto your enemies and win those engagements up close and extended mags the reason i like extended mags is because you guys are going to learn with my perks i'm not using dexterity now i'll explain that in a bit but extended mags kind of gives you a free mini bandolier if anybody is familiar with other call of duties or even modern warfare remastered when you spawn in with the k-bar 32 you normally have like 32 bullets in your clip or magazine and you have around 90 bullets in your reserve when you put extended mags on the bunker buster you spawn in with 64 bullets in your clip and you have around 128 bullets in your reserve meaning that you basically get an 80 extra bullets at the spawn just for running extended mags on your weapon now moving over to the perks i'm using hardline and dead silence that's it boys so the reason i don't use ghosts is because a lot of the times enemies don't really get uavs on me because i'm a pretty effective slayer and then i don't use dexterity because you will never have to reload with this weapon you can literally if you're playing a 6v6 game mode you can the majority of the time kill all six enemies with your magazine before you even have to reload so dexterity is really not much needed you know with this class you don't want to kill one person reload right away you know you have plenty of bullets you can usually kill three to four people without ever having to reload now the reason I use hardline over scavenger is because I run UAV and counter UAV meaning that I can get them every four and five kills and cycle them really fast and I don't need scavenger because extended mags like I said said gives you 80 bullets at the spawn and you guys know me I use synaptic I use rewind and propulsion the rewind characteristic automatically refills your magazine for you for free uh, so usually I'll go like around a 10 kill streak my ammo starts running low I hit my rewind and I have like 200 bullets all over again and obviously I use that silence just so my jetpacking won't be heard because you guys know me I love to wall run but that is pretty much my class setup guys if this gameplay is a testament to how good it can be I think it's around a 10 or 11 KD and you guys see most of my deatomizers on my videos have been with this class setup i hope you guys give it a try and let me know what you guys think in the comments section below but this is seriously my most try hard class in infinite warfare this is my go-to class if i'm trying to have a really great game honestly the key to running this whole class setup all in all is also using synaptic with rewind and propulsion so that way you don't have to run scavenger and you never have to worry about your ammunition but i hope you guys enjoyed this video as always my name is papa nacho thank you guys for watching and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace out nacho nation <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>